Welcome back, friends, to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick, and on this channel, I talk about cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, and economics. Today's video is a tutorial on how to connect your MetaMask to the Phantom Opera network. Additionally, I'll show you how to bridge funds from Ethereum over to Phantom, because as of now, most exchanges do not allow you to withdraw directly to Phantom. All right, let's get into it. So first thing you'll need to do is install MetaMask and set up a MetaMask wallet if you haven't already. Uh, if you haven't done that part, then uh, take care of that and then come back to this video. All right, so then the next thing we'll do is click on your MetaMask and we're gonna want to expand the view. That's because we're gonna have to go back between our MetaMask and this page right here. So uh, you'll wanna be able to, uh, you won't be able to do that if you just have it open in the corner here. So expand the view. And then you see if you cl uh, click Ethereum mainnet, then there's a few options for which network you can connect to. If you haven't connected to any custom RPCs, you'll just have Ethereum in the test networks. You can see I've added some custom RPCs before. We're gonna add another one now. So click on custom RPC and then you'll be prompted to enter the network name, the new RPC URL, and a few other pieces of information. These will be unique for each network that you connect to. So you can find the ones for Phantom over on this website from the Phantom Foundation. I'll include a link to this in the description, and I'll also include all of these pieces of information themselves in the description. We can go ahead and copy these right over here. see. All right. Uh, by the way, I've got some other videos coming up with more information about DeFi on Phantom in the near future. So if you're uh, looking for the basics and you want to uh, want to keep up to date on those videos, be sure to like and subscribe. All right. So now we have this information entered. We press save. And let's see. Open our MetaMask, there we go. We are connected to Phantom Opera. And you can see that I already have some Phantom in there because I've used this network before. So that's great. Uh, your MetaMask is connected. Now, if you want to get funds over, like I said, at least in the United States, no exchanges I've found let you withdraw directly to Phantom. Even if you have FTM tokens, for example, in KuCoin, where I bought them, uh, you can't withdraw them directly to Phantom. You have to withdraw them to Ethereum and then bridge them over to Phantom which is kind of a pain because the fees are on Ethereum and you have to use bridges, but that's the price you pay for being early. Two bridges that I've seen used with success are multichain.xyz. This is the bridge that I used. And then spookyswap.finance, which is also the largest DEX and DeFi project on Phantom. To use the bridges, you go, uh, well, you go to the website and then for multi-chain, for example, you see that you select the token you want to bridge over. We'll do the phantom token, and then you want to make sure that it has the Ethereum network in the from section and the phantom network in the to section. So to do this, you'll have to change your network on MetaMask to the Ethereum network. You'll select how many phantom you want to bring over. Say we were bringing 100 over, and then you'll click on transfer. And I won't do this now because of the fees and, uh, and because because it's Ethereum, it takes a while. So uh, you can expect this to take maybe 15, 20 minutes, even longer. Uh, and truthfully, it's somewhat stressful. Uh, it'll feel like your funds are gone, but just sit tight. The bridge works. I like to leave this page open to make sure I catch any transactions I have to approve. But uh, yeah, it, it'll feel, it'll be a little stressful. It'll feel like your funds are gone, but, but I've used this bridge before and it works. Uh, the other bridge that works pretty well is Spooky Swap. I have a friend who used this with great success. Uh, same thing here. You can bridge from Ethereum, or actually you can even bridge from BSC to Phantom. So if you have some funds on Pancake Swap, you can bridge them over here. Uh, same deal. You select the token you want to bridge. This one has some more options. You could do Ave, for example. You could do. You could probably do ETH. You can do Wrapped ETH. Uh, it's got lots of good options. Uh, I think if you do. BSC, you could bring BNB over, etc. Uh, and then the same deal, you'll click on bridge token once you've selected it. And uh, so you see, for example, this says large amounts of 2600 wrapped ETH could take up to 12 hours. So I guess there's some sort of approval process. 
So sit tight. Uh, it may take a bit for this to bridge over, but this is a well-used bridge. So if you're going to bridge over, I'd recommend either multi-chain or this one. That's all for today. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have any other comments about connecting to Phantom or bridging to Phantom, be sure to leave them in the comments. I read and respond to those daily. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.